Okay, hello, this is Dr. Janes, and today I'm going to use the Teensy Duino 4.0 to generate, to create a uh, high, high frequency, 500 kilohertz, tunable, with, with my potentiometer here, tunable frequency generator. Okay. Let's see, can I get this in focus? So anyway, tunable frequency generator. I'll show you the code, I'll show you this guy's performance on the O-scope. Very interesting, huh? You can use, to, use that to drive um, even some Tesla coils at that frequency. 500, 568 kilohertz is the max frequency I'm getting out of this guy. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, so here is our Teensy Duino 4.0. <coughs> Excuse me. And, um, I'm measuring the uh, output of pin number 13, which is I'm using as a uh, frequency generator, and uh, we are measuring a max frequency of 568 kilohertz, which is pretty fast for a full digital uh, oscillator. And let me show you, I have this uh, potentiometer hooked up um, to the TNC Duino. Let me, let me get the probe back in there. Okay. Okay, so here we go. High speed TNC Duino signal generator. And I can twiddle the frequency knob here. And it's set very sensitive, but you can change that. Okay. And definitely broad range. You can change the range so it's less range. And, uh, get it to be more stable, I think. I'm not sure why there's jitter in there. It could be because it's doing a fast analog read. And maybe if you twiddle around with that, you can get some kind of compromise between the frequency that you want and the uh, um, jitter. Get the jitter down maybe a little bit. But definitely very fast. 568 kilohertz. Screaming fast digital oscillator. I've never seen a digital oscillator this fast before. Okay. Pretty cool, huh? Okay, let's take a look at the code. Okay, so let's let's take a look at the program here. So I actually had to include this this library. I tried a different library and it wasn't working. I claimed it was going to work, but it didn't. So let's let's go through the code and I'll show you the code that I use. It's pretty simple. If you've been watching my channel, I did a. Um, um, an oscillator before uh, using just delay loops and uh, writing pin high, writing pin low and so this is the same program there except for I changed the digital writes or digital um, analog read, I'm sorry, the analog read so it's a fast analog analog to digital converter and so here's a special library it's called adcl underscore t4.h and um, I had to uh, download that from GitHub. I downloaded the zip file. I'll show you how to do that. And um, installed that library. And uh, here we have to uh, include the ADC object because we're going to be using that in our program. And so I'm going to use the output LED. Uh, pin number 13. It's not going to be an LED actually, but pin 13 is going to be our output. And then of course these are the uh, multipliers that I use to, to uh, generate the different frequencies. And you can change these to get different frequency ranges. In fact, it's so fast you may want to add in um, an extra just uh, uh, DC offset into the delay so you can shift the whole frequency down. I want you know, before it was running at something like 27 kilohertz, and now it's up to 560 kilohertz. So, about 20 times faster than before. Okay, so anyway, these uh, this is the input from our analog. I just called it B. And this is the counter variable for the counter loops. And uh, we're going to use pin, uh, analog pin A9. And, and as I mentioned in some of my other videos, you can you can specify it as the pin on the Arduino device or the internal analog pin. And it turns out that the I'm just it's easier for me to do it this way. I'm going to 
call it A9, which is actually, I think, uh, pin thir pin 23 or something like that. We'll take a look at this guy. Where's the camera on this? Oh, it's here. Okay, I don't know if you can see that, but this, this analog guy is actually going into pin number 23, I believe, over here. I have to check it. Yeah, 23. Definitely 23. Okay. And so A9 corresponds to pin 23 on the uh, Arduino device. Okay, in the void setup, we're going to uh, set up the uh, A9 as for to imp input our analog uh, signal from our uh, potentiometer here that we're going to twiddle to control the frequency. And uh, LED is set to pin 13, so pin 13 is going to be our digital output. We're going to write a digital output. And then the, here's some commands that set up the, uh, the analog to digital conversion. And we can twiddle around with these. Normally I think it's got a lot of averaging in there, which really slows it down. I've set the averaging to 1. I set the conversion speed to high. Maybe if I bring that down there will be less jitter. Or maybe if I did a couple of averages or something like that, but that's definitely going to knock down our speed. But uh, some parameters you can twiddle with because you didn't have uh, control over these settings before, so you just had to take whatever they gave you for the analog read. Uh, conversion speed, I set that the medium as in the example that I was looking at, and uh, sampling speed also to medium. So you might be able to twiddle around with these to optimize them for whatever you want to use this specific. Uh, 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 library to, to for fast reading for your uh, TNC Duino 4.0. Uh, like I said, I did try some other ones. I think it was ADC library, and it, it claimed that it was supposed to work with uh, uh, TNC Duino 4.0, but every time I tried to just include the library, I cut out everything else except for the include library, and I tried to compile it with 4.0, and it would give me a bunch of errors, and then if I tried to compile it with, uh, let's see, you know, uh, TNC Duino uh, 3.6, which is the previous version, it would it would be fine with that. So there's some kind of issue with 4.0 with the ADC libraries. So, but this library seems to work ADCL underscore T4. And um, so anyway, if we set up our uh, analog to digital conversion here, and uh, then as I stated before, there's a little bit different analog read. It's ADC to analog read. And then uh, this this is analog pin is A9, and then it's analog converter zero. There's a zero and there's a one. I guess you can you can use two different analog to digital converters, but I'm just using the zero converter right now. So it does a fast read, and then it does the loop to delay, and then a digital write high fast read loop to delay digital write low, and then it repeats it. So this is how you get your cycles. And of course, if you didn't want it to be a square wave, if you want these to be asymmetrical, you could change this accordingly and uh, I, I think that's it it's a very simple program very high speed um, we'll be doing some more stuff with this in the future because uh, I definitely uh, like to build oscillators I'm doing a lot of interesting projects with other things and I need some fancy cheap oscillators to uh, drive them and this is this is really fast enough to drive a Tesla coil. Other other than the fact that it looked like it had some jitter in it, which which I don't like. That you know, if you have a high Q Tesla coil and you get some jitter in it, it's going to uh, put some ringing ring back on your FETs or something. So it won't be good if you're using a solid state driver. But uh, so anyway, we'll fiddle with this. Uh, very cool, huh? Very high speed signal generator. You can make your own custom signal generators for your crazy mad science experiments. Okay, okay. so here is the GitHub uh, ADCL library that I used. And this is the location, github.com slash capital Kurt, capital E, slash ADCL underscore T4. And uh, there is a bunch of examples and other things that you can uh, look at and of course my example works so you can use that one as a uh, gold standard here's the code button and what I did is I download the zip file so you want to click on that to download the zip okay 
and then we're going to go into the Arduino IDE and uh, install from zip file. Okay. Okay, so let's load up our Arduino IDE. Okay, I had a bunch of windows up, a bunch of different sketches. Okay, so there is our library. I've actually already included it, but I think I lost the video footage, so I'm going to go through this exercise again to show how to install this library. Oh. Come on, sketch. No, I don't want to update Arduino. Okay, so we go to sketch. We go to include libraries. Okay, and then we go over here, add zip library. Okay, and then of course I save mine in the downloads. So there it is, and of course I re-downloaded it so you can see how I did that, but here's the original. And we'll click OK. Since I've already installed it, I'm not going to do it again. But that is how you install uh, libraries. And let me just check here. Uh, include libraries, manage libraries. So once you've installed it, you can go into Manage Library and um, just verify that it's there. We'll do a search. This thing's a little bit slow. ADCL. I believe that was the name of the library, right? And see, it says right there ADCL underscore T4 master is installed okay so that's how you can verify that it's installed and you can do a search on all, all your other libraries also or if you just want to peruse through them you don't have to do a search it will I'm sure show them all on the screen so anyway you need to install that library before you can run these examples okay and see that's where I included it. ADC, include ADCL underscore four dot H. Okay. Hopefully this helps you. Anyway, this is uh Dr. Jane's and thanks for watching.